The Union for Affordable Cancer Treatment, or UACT, is an international cancer patient advocacy group focused specifically on the high prices of cancer treatments and the conviction that cancer treatment and care should be available everywhere for everyone, regardless of gender, age, nationality, or financial resources. Fights over access to expensive cancer drugs often feature claims by drug companies that the high prices are justified by money spent on R&D, typically without actually disclosing what was spent, and instead citing studies by academic consultants, often out of context. In November 2014, Tufts University Center for the Study of Drug Development held a press conference to announce that they concluded a study on the costs of drug development. The Tufts Center receives considerable funding from drug companies, and the authors of the study were three pharma industry consultants. They claimed the cost of R&D for a new drug was $2.6 billion. As we have seen pr from previous Tufts studies, the drug companies will promote this figure to justify high prices for cancer drugs. The figure released by Tufts at the 2014 press conference is highly contested, coming in more than a billion dollars higher than a similar study from 2012 that was funded by AstraZeneca. Tufts only released a few details, including most importantly the $2.6 billion estimate, but the full study will not be available until it is published in a yet unnamed journal. Following the Tufts press conference, UACT sent a letter to the president and the chairman of the board of trustees of Tufts University. The letter asked Tufts to provide more transparency about the funding of the press conference and the study, and to answer several questions about the relevance of the study to new treatments for cancer. UACT cites studies that show that cancer drugs typically have fewer patients in clinical trials and often benefit from a UX tax credit that subsidizes 50% of clinical testing costs. On December 8th, the president of Tufts University wrote to UACT asking that it direct its questions about the industry funding of the study and the relevance of the study to cancer drugs to the authors of the study. UACT's next step is to send a letter to Joseph DeMasi, the lead author of the Tufts study.